Hey guys, it's Melissa here. So today I have a 12x12 layout process video. I'm going to be using my May Click Kit and I'm just showing you that here. I got quite a few add-ons this month so I have lots to work with. Um, it's using the Basic Gray Urban Lux um, collection and the Fancy Pants Atwell collection. So um, I'm working in my travel album. So this is a photo of me and my boyfriend, I believe. Well, I know we were in Michigan on his family's island, and I believe it was back in 2014. Um, so there I was picking up the um, papers I wanted to use, and I am backing my photo on white plain cardstock to make it help pop a little bit more off the um, other papers I'm going to use. So that's what I'm doing here. trim it with my paper trimmer and then I really love this photo of us um, his sister actually took this photo we were um, standing on a tree <laughs> so I really like that photo okay so I'm going to use the gray corrugated paper that came in the make kit um, I'm not sure if this kit is still available, but you can um, check if you are interested. I'll leave um, the description, or I'll leave it in the description box below. And I absolutely love that basic gray, like, floral watercolor leaf paper. I thought that went really well because since we were in a tree and you've got leaves in the background. And then I'm backing it on a fancy pants paper um, that's the same color blue. That's just what I did there. And then I'm just using a pale pink um, paper for my stash to um, add and a gray piece of paper. That is actually um, from the basic gray paper pad or paper pack because I got the add-on of this paper collection because I absolutely love it. So and then I'm using I think my favorite paper of all from the basic gray line is that like watercolor purple, pink and blue paper. So I back that there, and then I'm adding a piece from the Atwell collection from Fancy Pants, I believe. Or is that basic gray? I'm not sure, but it's black with white script. So then I'm going to take my tiny attacher from American Crafts, it's the gold one, and I'm going to use it to staple the papers together. That way I don't have to go through and use my double-sided tape on all the papers. It's just quicker. So that's what I did there. And then I'm going to tape down these two papers here. So I kind of cut this um, up so you didn't have to see me tape, you know, take forever to tape down that. And then I ripped a little bit more on purpose because I like that look. So you'll see that in a minute. I ripped it down there just to give it more interest so it's not so like perfect. And then I'm going to tape this one down. And I had some trouble lining it up, so you'll see me kind of rip it back up and then put it back down. You can't even tell after I did that. So, yeah, I'm ripping it up, and then I just put it back down. And I left that in there because I'm not a perfect scrapbooker. This took me about an hour to do, and I was so fussy on what, where I wanted things to go. When it comes to layouts, 9x12 or 12x12 layouts, I am kind of slow at it. I am really picky. I don't know. Okay, and now I'm going to do the packaging technique with my watercolors. I've never done this before and it turned out awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, definitely going to do this again. I've seen a lot of people do this and it's so easy and quick. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding light pink, dark pink, and some purple to match the collection that I'm using. And then I added some more water on top. I sprinkle some more water to make it more, um, I don't know, clear, I guess. So it's not so bold. So I'm just rubbing that over the paper. So I think the water helped it not be so like bright and in your face. I wanted it to be kind of muted. So, and then I went ahead and dried it off camera caused my um, camera after I splattered some more there. I wanted some splatter, of course. So that's what I'm doing there. So 
then I dried it off camera like I said so it went a little quicker and I really love the look of that and then I faffed around a lot with this um, floral die cut that I got as an add-on with my make kit I was like trying to figure out where to place it so as you can see I was like where do I put this thing because I didn't want it to like blend in with the background I wanted it to pop because since I only had one. So um, I wanted to add some more blue to that side. Same blue. So um, I had cut it up and decided to just to make it look like one piece. So you can't even tell once they're glued down. Um, oh, and then I wanted to add a tag that came in the um, May kit. It wasn't an add-on. It actually came in the kit. You got a full pack of Atwell tags, so I wanted to put that there. And then I used the sticker sheet that came in the kit. Um, I used the little like triangle arrows. So one dark blue and one light blue. And then paper clip. You know me and my paper clips. <laughs> so I added one to the corner to kind of balance some dark colors over there too since the majority looked like it was on the left side. And then I believe I... Yeah, I figured out that I wanted the floral on the left bottom hand corner, but the white was just blending in way too much, so I decided to watercolor it, which it's kind of off camera, but at least you'll be able to see what I was doing. I wanted it to be pink. Some light pink areas and dark pink on the floral. So I cut that out because I know you can't see it that much. But And then I dried it off camera. And there's the finished product. I really like it pink. And it like pops better. And then I'm using the Ephemera Pack from Basic Gray Urban Lux. I got that as an add-on. Um, so... I thought I was going to put the big floral there, but I ended up moving it. And then I added that XO from the ephemera pack there. And then I added the gray leaf from the ephemera pack, which worked out perfect. I absolutely love it. It just added that extra touch to that floral. And then, yeah, I ended up moving that big floral up there. It just looked more balanced up there than with the other floral at the bottom. doing oh I'm using the black and white striped alphas from fancy pants that came in the kit I'm writing out love I eventually move that over closer to the blue paper I wanted to bring more black and white down to the bottom because I'm using like navy dark blue and I'm using black in this layout so I wanted some dark color in the bottom so moving those over, and then I'm going to add from the same like sticker alpha sheet is like a little black and white striped arrow, and I add that next to that, which I will do in a moment. And then messing around with that E. There we go. There's the little arrow. I believe I'm almost done. Oh, okay. I got out my um, Tim Holtz tiny word stickers, which I'm obsessed with these things. I found one I wanted to use and just placed it on the ring, so I, d I didn't forget where it was. Um, I don't remember what these says. The top one there is about something about adventure, and then the bottom one, I think, says you're the best or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but it's something love-themed. Um... So I taped that down. I taped everything else down. I just um, did that off camera. And then I'm using my Tombow um, liquid glue to um, adhere the floral down. That was kind of time consuming. So I know I think I cut some of this out. Um, that's my favorite glue ever. I'm obsessed with it. I'm almost out. So I need to go get some more. But yeah, it's my favorite glue. And it dries clear. So.
that's what I'm doing now. Just ta oh, I'm taping. Just gluing down the floral. I was having some problem with the glue because it kept um, I'm running out, like I said. So I probably could have cut more of this out, but I wanted you to see some of the process because I know I cut out a lot of the rest. So. Hopefully you can see this pretty well. I know at the end I zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. And I will upload a photo on my Instagram of this um, so you can see it more in detail if you want to see it on my Instagram. It's the same. Um, my name's the same on Instagram as it is my YouTube name. But I'll also link it in the description box below. So I just stapled the XOXO to give it more texture. And then I'm going to be using the stamp set that I collaborated on with Honeybee Stamps that just came out that's photography themed. I drew all the cameras, the Polaroid, the film reel, the hearts. So I'm using the Polaroid stamp that I drew there under these tiny word stickers. And then I believe all I do now is sprinkle some black watercolor to bring in more black. I believe that's the last thing I do here. Oh no! Um. I forgot, I added some enamel dots. So, I know that there was white enamel dots that came in the kit. I don't know why I didn't use those, but I just had these right, ne right next to me, so I just grabbed those. So I added some white enamel dots to the top right and the bottom left to balance that out. And then I grabbed some of my favorite jewels, or um, what do you call them? I guess jewels from Michaels. They're like pretty pink sparkly um, gems. That's what they call gems. I use those all the time. I mix it with enamel dots. So I wanted to add some pink. So I added those. They're really sparkly. Like I said, I'll have a photo of them on my Instagram so you can see this in better quality and up more up close. So I think I'm done. Oh, I added a tiny little black heart inside of the O of the XO. And then I grab plastic to put behind here so when I splatter the black ink it doesn't get on the floor or my book. So I'm adding more black splatters to finish it off. And I believe that's it. I believe that's all I do to this layout. And I really love how it turned out. I love the corrugated paper. I think that just adds more, some cool texture to the page. I think adding the black splatters really helped balance everything out. So I really love it. I hope you guys enjoyed my process video and check out my Instagram for closer up photos. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.